man, it's gonna be a good day today. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> Why? There is a slide coming out of an elephant's <laughs> booty. What? Wh why? Who would do this? Such heinous crimes. Call the cops. Call the fire department. Somebody. Whoever did this, they have a sick, twisted sense of humor, and they need to be brought to justice. But yes, girl, today we're looking at uh, the craziest playgrounds that should not exist. And I don't even know why this does exist or where it is. Are these the playgrounds that they have in Africa or something? Like, like seriously, I mean, you, you, there's elephants in Africa. Maybe they wanted to make an elephant themed playground for some reason. But hey, I like elephants. So uh, comment down below your favorite animal. My favorite animal would definitely have to be the panther. I mean, not, not because it's black and not because I'm black and not because of the movie Black Panther, but you know, it's my favorite animal. And please drop a like on the video, it'll really support the channel and you know, it'll help it grow. And click that subscribe button cause all the cool kids are doing it. And at the bottom of this, it says this awful slide placement. Yeah, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty bad. I mean, and there's a kid actually sliding out. My only question is how do you get at the top of the slide? Do you have to go like into the elephant's mouth and then you come out the back? Ew, oh no. It looks like the elephant is getting a prostate exam. Or this elephant just has kids coming out of the back end that we're not gonna talk about. Anyway, and now we <laughs> says uh SpongeBob. Why is SpongeBob a horse? His name is SpongeBob, not Horse Bob. Now it's Horse Bob Rectangular Pants. Girls, this is not okay. I mean, look, why would you want to ride? Uh, anyway, this is horrible. Seriously, you guys can let me know. Have you ever seen anything like this anywhere when you're out and about? Like a, a horse SpongeBob that you ride? Why? This is the weirdest, creepiest playground I've ever seen. I mean, these are the type of playgrounds that you see in horror movies. They turn SpongeBob into a horse. What next? You gonna turn Patrick into a gorilla? These people ought to be ashamed of themselves. I mean, look, I know you want to make like an interactive, like, you know, cool SpongeBob themed thing, but I don't think this is the way to do it. I mean, this is definitely a swing and a miss. But you know what make me feel better? Is if you guys got the new merch. Yeah, man, check it out. The play button. Ooh. Oh, look at the flick of the merch. Yeah, man. It's gonna be sold exclusively at VidCon, so hopefully you guys are going, and if you are, just look for the crowd made booth, and they're gonna be sold at that booth. But yeah, the shirts are super comfortable, and they look good with the black and gold, woo! But anyway, oh no! <laughs> this poor girl! What kind of Mission Impossible slide is this? Uh, I, I think the workers forgot to finish this slide. Dang, slide to the left, uh. Slide to the right, uh, and slide to your painful injury. Who would create this? What, there's not even like a nice landing pad at the bottom. This would be cool if you slide out and then you land into like a ball pit, or you know, if you land onto something soft, or land on some pillows or something, but this poor little girl has to land on the hard ground. Hey little girl, tuck and roll, tuck and roll. You seriously have to tuck and roll. Don't land like with your knees straight, okay? Otherwise you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hurt yourself. This is just asking for a lawsuit. Like, are these people crazy? Who is the architect on this project, all right? Who's the construction manager? I'd like to file a formal complaint. I would like to speak with the manager about this. I mean, at least the drop isn't like that far. It's kind of far to where this little girl could get hurt, but still, at least it's not like a drop that's like, you know, 10, 15 feet. No joke, I feel like this girl is gonna fall flat on her face, but you know, hopefully she's okay. Next one. Hey, oh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Is this Winnie the Pooh or the Hunchback of Notre Dame? I'm just gonna leave this here. Oh gosh, I mean, man, this is Winnie the Pooh with the tumor. He's got a tumor in the back of his neck. Dang, poor Winnie. Why did they create this? Like, did they not have a sketch as a reference to go off of while they're creating this Winnie the Pooh? Dang, you don't even have to ride in the seat behind Winnie the Pooh. You could ride on his neck or on the top of his head. He doesn't even have a neck. He just has a head that like slopes down into his back. Gosh dang, we gotta call him No Neck Winnie the Pooh. Did you guys also know that Winnie the Pooh is a girl, apparently? Like, in one of my videos before, I talked about this, and like, I had no idea. Girl, boy, Winnie the Pooh, more like Winnie the No Neck Pooh. Oh!
okay, that wasn't even that good. That wasn't, you know, I, I, I tried, I tried. It looks like the back of your neck is pregnant. What are you, nine months? That's ridiculous, man, it's ridiculous. Oh, never split your legs when you slide down. <laughs> oh gosh. This slide is an accident just waiting to happen. When I slide down, I don't wanna be presented with Sophie's choice, like, hey, which way do I go? Like, there's a serious fork in the road. How do you even decide? Like, if you're going down, like, depending on, you know, the way you shift your weight, you might go to the right, you might go to the left, or you might go down the middle. And if you guys are anything like me, I can't make a decision, so I probably just slide right off the slide. Mm-mm, not gonna be a good day today. This is just weird. Why do you have a three-headed slide? Okay, I think I get it. This is so like three kids can go down at the same time and you don't have to wait as long in line for the slide. But that just looks dangerous. Some kid's gonna like slide down crooked and then topple over off the edge. I don't know, I hope they tear this thing down. I mean, I. I'd rather have the uh, SpongeBob horse than this uh, three-headed slide. Ridiculous, man. What? Not exactly the right place for a playground. Like in the back of a parking lot? Who is coming up with these things? I swear, this is like the slides in Russia or something. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. And there's like nasty water on each side of the slide. Like, where are you even gonna land? The landing zone is like super thin. So like, once you slide down, you gotta land on your tippy toes and just hope that you don't slide too far and end up in the nasty water. That's like sewer water too, oh. Like seriously, what are you gonna do? Hey, let me park the car, oh yeah, oh there's a slide, let's go down while you're parking the car in the middle of a sketchy neighborhood. Boy, you already know you got it. Get that out of here. That's insane. That's not even a playground, it's just a slide in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, what next? You gonna put a slide in the middle of the desert? Ridiculous, man. Oh, this playground of a private kindergarten in Omsk, Russia. I, I told you it was Russia. All of these playgrounds are in Russia. You got barbed wire around a playground. What, to keep the pedophiles out? Like, like, I don't know, what's going on here? I'm very confused and I need an explanation, please. I had no idea they had private playgrounds. Like, like what, for the, for the good kids? For the kids that actually apply themselves in school? Like me. Okay, not like me, not like me. This is like a kid's prison. Like, like for little kids that just, you know, commit a crime and then you gotta put them back here. They get a few hours a day to be outside, but you gotta keep them inside the gate with the barbed wire. I know they have like juvenile hall or juvie or whatever, but like, what about for kids that are like six years old who committed a crime? Where do they go? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, not for me committing a crime when I was six years old. Okay, fine, geez, you caught me, all right? I walked across the street without looking both ways, all right? Leave me alone. And this one, make fun safe. Why did they block off the slide? <laughs> Sorry, little girl, the slide's closed. This poor girl, she's like, how do I get down? In all seriousness, I think these are one of the things that like you, you open it and then you can close it, I think. But I don't know, girl, if you ain't smart enough to realize that that thing opens, then uh, you don't deserve to go down the slide. This little girl is looking at me like, where are my parents at? It's okay, did your parents leave you too? Or I mean, I mean my, mine, mine never left me. They just, uh, you know, they went to the grocery store. They're still in line. It's a long line at Walmart. Anyway, if this was me, I'd just hop on over and then you slide down. You make it like an extreme slide. You gotta jump and then you gotta surf down the slide without getting hurt. Yeah, don't try that at home. It's not worth it. Don't do not do it. DJ Khaled, another one. Eh, what, is, what is going on with all these butt slides, these booty slides? What even is that? Is that a chicken or is that like a rooster like with, the, with overalls on? This monstrosity. Who would want to climb the stairs in to the butt and then out the front. Oh, ew, no, not today. And it looks like this thing is just in the middle of a random parking lot, man. See, I'm telling you, it's Russia again. All these weird playgrounds are in Russia somewhere. Could have been worse, but um, yeah, that's just nasty. I don't know about you guys, but I want some answers and I want somebody to be held accountable for this. These heinous crimes. Back in my day, it was all about the monkey bars and the swing sets and trying to jump off while you're swinging. You know, you gotta jump off at the highest point and then woo, boom. Not going up booty slides, this is disgusting. All right, last one. This handicap accessible play structure. How is that handicap accessible when there's like bumps on the... Man, let's see, that's just messed up. Wow, doesn't look handicap accessible to me. It should be just a flat ramp, not with speed bumps. Like, what are they supposed to do in the wheelchair? How are they supposed to get up the speed bumps? 
This ain't Fast and Furious where you're just going like and then going up, you know, random inclines. Or if they try to roll down the incline and like on the bumps, man, they're gonna crash. Mm -mm, not cool, not cool. Whoever created this thing, they must be racist against people in wheelchairs. It's not right. Man, creating place structures that are not handicap accessible, girl, you better get that out of here. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please smash that like button and it'll help me feel better about myself. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell cause all the cool kids are doing it. And that way you know as soon as I post a new video. And comment down below and let me know if you're going to VidCon and if you wanna get the new merch, yeah, the YouTube play button, it's exclusive. But yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'ma see ya in the next video. Peace.